YouTube community, meet Jeremy here again. We're going to bring you another news update on Lion Electric. This was huge news that was released yesterday. I miss this. I very much apologize, but we're going to get right into this. Uh, the school district of Philadelphia purchases five Lion Electric school buses. Each, each one of those buses costing about $368,000 per bus um, and this is for the school district's green futures S sustainability plan um, this is the first district in Pennsylvania to purchase electric buses and uh, this is the district wants to replace 4% of its bus fleet with electric buses every year uh, these purchases were partly funded by the United States Environmental Protection Agency with a $290,000 Diesel Emissions Reduction Act, this is the DARA Act grant, as well as a $468,000 grant through the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's Driving PA Forward Initiative. Okay, so congratulations for Lion Electric. Congratulations to the state of Pennsylvania. This is a massive move. Um, congratulations to the school district of Philadelphia for making that first move for the state of Pennsylvania. Um, and then there are big things to come. This is uh, over the next so many years, it's going to be about the school district wants to have about, they have 350 buses running right now. Over the next so many years, they want to have 410 buses and they want to have 20% of those being. Uh, electrified and you know where they're going to be coming from line electric so this is very exciting news uh, line electric also uh, something that was brought to my attention on June 14th um, that there was an SEC filing uh, that Amazon's uh, increase holdings in the company it's now they now Amazon now owns 18.8 percent of line electric company okay so that is as of June 14th, 2021. Okay, so this purchase, um, the, the, the new uh, analyst coverage, like I sp posted in and talk, talked about in the video I posted earlier, and, uh, and Amazon increasing their ownership, most likely exercising the deal um, that consists of over five years. Um, when all those school buses, so this is huge. This is this is gonna be huge. Um, expect. I'm gonna. I want to. I want to dig into the Amazon thing a little deeper. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring a video trying to trying to really fully explain this math. I believe they were only at like three or four percent ownership, and now they they went up greatly. So we, I want to get a dive into that at a later time. But thank you to everybody um, for coming by. Thumbs up, please, for Lion Electric. Uh, this is great news, man. This is great news for the state of Pennsylvania. Great for the kids. You know, this is this is going to be a good step forward for the environment um, and and everything all around. Uh, now, they also it was noted that these buses do how you know they, they may cost like about a little more than twice as much as a diesel bus, but the the costs, the maintenance costs. Um, are it cut down significantly, so it, this is a long-term investment, um, and just the running running cost of these things. So, um, as always, thumbs up for Line Electric. Thumbs up for me, Jeremy here. Very blessed for all you guys to join me. Um, subscribe, please, and thank you. If you if you guys, um, yeah, if you guys like your market insight, your uh, I try to bring. A, Fresh updates on, on many companies, okay? Lion Electric has been catching my eye a lot lately. So, shouts out to all you guys. Have a great night. Thank you again.